Gemini. This is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing, bringing you a general and a love reading for the month of May 2016. This is a reading for a large audience, so if you would like details specific to you and your situation, you can schedule a private reading on my webpage. I will put the link below and embed it as well. Now, the thing with private readings, I am not an astrologist, and although I appreciate when you guys send me what your signs are, um, when I do private readings for you, it, it, that is not based off of your astrological sign um, when you're born. Um, I get messages directly from the angels just for you. I can hear angels speak to me and Jesus speak to me um, as though having a conversation with any one of you. Um, so when I do a private reading for someone, I get answers to their questions specific for them so I can get details just for you from the angels, very detailed um, and specific. So if you'd like, you can schedule one of those online. We'll put that below and let's go on ahead and get started. So we are gonna be pulling cards from Sandra Ann Taylor's deck, the Energy Oracle cards, as well as Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels, Saints and Angels, and the Magical Messages from the Fairies deck. And first row is going to be general, although you guys appear to have love already in that. And I've already got the cards laid out to kind of speed things up for us. And then the bottom row here is going to be about love. So let's go ahead and get started. The first card that you guys have this month is the world. And if you can see that, um, there's a man, he's cloaked. He is standing, he's looking out over the bay. Um, this is a card talking about, you know, expansion, opening up, thinking big, um, not limiting yourself, um, expanding your vision, your views toward what you can achieve, what you can do, um, pursue. Because I get for a number of you, you know, you're, you're contemplating a job change, but, but you're worried, you know, would I be able to do that? You know, would I qualify? Would they hire me? Um, would I succeed in that? Would I get the pay that I need to sustain myself and my family? Um, for some of you, it's a job. I mean, not a job. For some of you, it, it's, well, it's related to a job. You have to get a job. For some of you, it's it's moving, which is related to a job. But um, they're saying for some of you, there's like this location that you've really always wanted to live in, but you've always been afraid to move there um, out of fear of the moving costs and, and how much it may cost for you once you live there. And also, you know, how am I going to work? I'm going to need a job when I get there. Um, so what they're encouraging you to do in the month of May is to not limit yourself, to really think about what it is that you desire. Sit down, go within, think big. Think, what is it I want? What what are my big hopes and dreams? And, and write those things down and go for it. Don't let yourself hold yourself back because they're saying you, you are the only thing holding you back. They are there to help you and assist you in bringing those dreams to fruition. But, but you need to think big and not limit yourself. And the next thing which is tied directly into that, because making those changes and thinking big is the doorway to your personal happiness, healing, to all those things that you desire. Um, this is a card of new beginnings. And if you can see here, it's a beautiful card. You, you have the dove, lily pads, the rainbow. I mean, treasures await you, joy awaits you. Um, all those things that you've hoped for and you have wanted um, are, are waiting for you. Um, and they're saying that, that May is a month of new beginnings for you in your life. Um, like, like on here, you've got some, some lotus flowers as well. So, so what I'm getting, they're, they're saying that May is a, a month of transformation, a month of new beginnings. Um, it's, a, it's a month of also, they're saying a lot of healing because um, some of those things that are blocking you, those doubts, those worries, those concerns, those limiting beliefs um, are stemming from things that are going to need to be healed. And they're saying that you will be successful in healing those things in the month of May, which is going to help you proceed forward into those new beginnings, those opportunities. Um, 
and they're saying that the, the, the healing it's going to involve some some changes for some of you so for some of you um maybe there's addictions that you're going to have to break um for some of you it's going to be emotional things that you're going to have to heal and release um but they're wanting you to know that, that these opportunities, that life, it is unfolding for you. These new opportunities are going to be appearing for you. Um, and they're going to be appearing as early as May. Um, and again, for a number of you, you have been making some of these changes and you have been doing the healing work. You've been doing the preparation. Um, you're in the final stages of doing that. So they're encouraging you to keep moving forward um, because those things that you have been doing are working they are going to be successful. They are going to usher in those positive changes, those new beginnings that you desire. Um, there's just a final few things that you know, you're gonna be working on and healing to prepare, which will help you start to think big so that you can move forward. Next card we have is marriage. In the bottom of it, it says, the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. So, I'm getting this is some of you you've got some some stress going on in your marriage right now um which is also depicted down here um looks like i'm trying to get some additional information from them okay so what they're saying is may is going to be the month because of this healing this work these things that you're going to be doing may will be the month that you will you will revitalize your marriage um you will put that spark back into your marriage that happiness that joy um that you have felt missing for a while because a number of you you know you felt stuck i i, I get that many of you actually have been feeling stuck you're stuck in a job that doesn't make you happy many of you feel it's a dead-end job it's going nowhere but you're afraid to to think big and move on many of you are stuck in a town that you don't want to live in and a community you don't want to be in you just feel stuck and some of you feel stuck in your marriage um that, that spark's gone there's been a lot of stress and um unhappiness and strife and arguments and and, and you just, you're just feeling stuck and not knowing what to do. Um, so they're going to help you in the month of May. They're going to help you bring that spark back. They're going to help you heal things that need to be healed and released. Um, and they're going to do that in May. Um, now it's going to take a little bit of work on your part because there are a number of you need to actually do some healing work um, with some feelings, emotions, and things. Um, which will help you open up to your partner, open up to your spouse. And some of you also need to be honest with your emotions and feelings with your spouse. Um, because I get for a number of you, it's, it's like you leave everything bottled up inside and instead of discussing it with your spouse, um, you just, you, you blow up with, blow up at them and cause us arguments. Um, so in, in May, as part of your healing and strengthening your marriage and relationship, um, they're encouraging you to open up, share those emotions, share those feelings, um, share what you're thinking, because that's going to bring you closer. That will strengthen that bond um, and you will be successful. Now, for some of you, you will be getting married, you will be getting engaged in, in the month of May which is also depicted down here. So you won't be hitting that here in a moment. So congratulations to those of you in that boat. Next card we have. Now, the thing is this bottom row, even though you had love kind of go into your general row, this is the row of romance, love. Um, we got two first cards with information and the last card is um, what you can do to improve the situation. So the first card we have is healing family issues. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I get for many of you, be it you're looking for a partner, you're, you're in a relationship where you're kind of, you're stuck, be it a marriage or just a relationship, you're feeling stuck. Um, it's all hinging off of those those feelings towards your your mother and your father um, and for a lot of you it's it's really anger that you have toward them anger and the things that happened when you were a young child anger with how you were treated um, 
feeling anger toward feeling abandoned. So what they're saying is like for some of you, you've got a, a deep seated fear of abandonment because you know maybe your dad had abandoned you as a child and was not there for you. So because of that fear that you will be left alone, that you will be abandoned, which is deep down, that's an anger toward your father. Um, but because that's still buried down deep, um, how it's manifesting and affecting your love life is that for some of you, you're, you're pushing away your, your lover, your spouse, your partner, because you're afraid that he, she will up and, well, for those of you, that, you know, he, she may up and abandon you and leave you. So instead of letting them close, you keep them at a distance, which is, is jeopardizing and hurting your relationship because of that, that fear that you'll be abandoned and be left alone. Um, so that, that anger toward your, your father needs to be released. And, and for some of you, it manifests in that you keep, so for some of you that are single, that, you know, are in this situation of, you know, abandonment by your father, um, you keep attracting these romantic partners that are not good romantic partners, that, um, that they aren't good for you. They're unhealthy relationships that, that you keep manifesting because, you know, energetically, if, if you think that you're going to be abandoned and left because that's, you know, what your father did to you, um, you attract someone energetically who's going to abandon you and leave you in and not be good for you. Um, so what they're encouraging you to do this month is to focus on healing, healing that, those emotional wounds, those, those things that are affecting your life with regards to your, your mother and your father. Um, and it will take forgiveness and, and forgiving your mother, your father, it doesn't mean that you endorse, you condone their, their behavior. You're not, um, condoning and endorsing what they did to you, how you were treated, how it made you feel. You're just simply forgiving them. You're letting go of that toxic anger. You're letting go of those toxic emotions. You're letting go of those things that are holding you back in love. And for a number of you, those things have actually manifested physically um, into things that are physical illness and ailment and disease. So what you'll find is when you release that, not only are you going to draw someone to you who is a, is a good, healthy, romantic partner, lover, who could be a spouse, for some of you, it's going to drastically improve your marriage. But you're going to notice some health issues go away as well because it will resolve that as well for you. Um, so by finding that inner peace, that happiness, it's just going to completely transform your relationships and into something healthy, loving, um, be it whether you're single, married, in a relationship. By focusing on the month of May, they're encouraging you to focus on healing those past family hurts in order to transform your love life. And they're saying all areas of your life. Engagement. Kind of already covered that. For some of you that are getting engaged this month, congratulations. That's exciting news. Um, if you can read the bottom of it, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So obviously with those of you that are going to be getting engaged, taking it to the next level. For some of you, you will just be taking your relationship to the next level. Um, so not necessarily to engagement, but for some of you, I get that, you know, you've been dating off and on for a little while. Um, now you're going to take it to a committed relationship. You're actually going to commit with each other. Um, for some of you that are just, they're saying for some of you that are single, like maybe some of you that are going to be focusing in May on healing the, the family issues, the family past hurts. Um, You've been single for so long that you're, you're beginning to wonder, you know, am I ever going to get married? Is this ever going to happen for me? And um, this is just a reassurance for you that, that you are going to get married. It is going to happen. So you can let those worries go. Um, that's not something for you to worry and concern yourself over. Um, now, for many of you, this is talking about a, a commitment to yourself, commitment to taking care of yourself. Um, and for a lot of you, they're saying that this is, this is talking about you this month of May, committing to yourself, committing to healing yourself, um, 
and committing just to doing things that are good for you like you know go and have a day at the spa go and enjoy some time with friends go and go to a comedy club just go do something that's going to to list your it's just going to elevate your mood um lift your joy your happiness get you back to a happier stress-free joyful place and they are encouraging you to do that in the month of may because that will improve your love life and just life in general so commit to you in the month of may and this last card that we have and this is the card that talks about what you can do to help improve your love life in the month of may and that is stress management and they're saying is a number of you your your marriage your your relationship your partnership it's it's really really being affected right now by stress um stress of taking care of the kids stress of taking care of the family um stress of all the things that you have to get done so what they're saying is is they're trying to give they've been trying to give you some intuitive guidance some intuitive nudges of things that you can do to reduce that stress um so they're encouraging you to listen to those thoughts that intuition that's coming in about maybe maybe you get a thought to go and take a girls weekend or maybe you get a thought to go exercise take a nap um take a road trip <laughs> um do a spa day but they're giving they're giving you these intuitive thoughts and these ideas and these things that will help you reduce your stress so so they're encouraging you to listen to that in the month of may and to act on it um they're also encouraging you because a number of you you are you're over obligated so a number of you you you've it's almost as though you've brought the stress on yourself because out of feeling obligated to help someone to do something to you know to go to their event to to help them with something around their home out of an obligation or feeling guilted to do something you you've you've said yes to too many people and you've over obligated yourself so they're encouraging you in the month of may which goes back to again committing to you committing to taking care of you to be assertive with people and, and, and say no to any requests that you don't you know want to do because you shouldn't feel guilted to do anything or feel that you have to do anything out of obligation um because it's just adding additional stress onto you, which you don't need at this time. They're also saying, you know, avoid harsh environments, negative people, negative environments. Um, and for some of you, this stress is, is brought on because, um, because it's like you're avoiding or you're procrastinating doing something like a big project, something that has to be done. Um, but because of, you know, avoiding it and procrastinating, you're actually just causing yourself more stress. Um, and, and a lot of worry about that. So they're they're encouraging you just to face it head on, deal with it, and then that way you can have that behind you and move forward. Um, and so they're saying in, in Mabe that if you can do these things, you can say no to the additional obligations. You can do things that are going to get you to a healthier, happier, balanced state, exercising, you time, spa visits, saying no to the extra obligations. Um, And even do, they're saying you can even do little things like for some of you that uh, adult coloring's a big thing right now for so for some of you go get a coloring book and and color that, that that will relieve your stress go buy some flowers um because they're saying those little things it, you know you don't necessarily have to go do a, a big expensive a big expensive weekend retreat with the girls you can just do little things get some flowers um get yourself some new perfume new cologne um listen to some music color that that will help get you to a happier stress-free place and then that is going to improve your relationship and um they're saying all areas of your life in the month of may so i do wish you the very best in the month of may many thanks to everyone for subscribing and for commenting i do love to hear from all of you um, so feel free to leave your comments below you can also send me private messages if you would like as well and i do wish each of you an amazing month filled with a lot of love joy and blessings